going to go through the process of how to draw a line graph using the information that you can see here. In fact, this particular line graph is going to have two lines on it, one for the UK and one for India. Any graph that you're going to draw, the first thing you've got to figure out are the scales. Typically, an A4 size of graph paper has 14 squares up the longest side and about 10 going the other way. The vertical scale will need to go up as high as 208. That's our maximum. We've got about 14 squares worth of space. So let's figure out what each of these big squares would need to be worth and go up in. So we're doing 208 divided by 14 to give us our rough idea. So that's coming up at 14.85. So you might be inclined to go for 15, but 15 is not a very nice number to work with in terms of a scale. So I would suggest you actually go to 20. We're going to do one large square equals 20. And so each of the small squares, there's usually 10 in inside each large one, so one small square would therefore be worth 20 divided by 10, which is two. And that's quite a nice number to work with as well. If we'd gone with 15, then the small squares would have been one and a half. And that's not such a nice scale. So when it comes to drawing a line graph, the first things we actually do is draw dots and then we join those dots up to get the lines, of course. So here's the one that I've already created for this data here. So you can see what I mean by the dots. So these dots need to be exactly over the labels that you've got at the bottom. Normally, you'd probably do it with little lines here so that you can see exactly where that needs to be. But obviously, electronic graphs and the ones that you draw yourself do look a little bit different. So you've got the dots, you've joined them up. So because in this case, we've got two lines, we've done the two different lines in different colours. And that means that we needed to add a key to our diagram so that people know what each colour means. The other things that obviously need to be on any graph, we need to label the axes. This would be millimetres in terms of a label for the numbers that we've got down here. Normally I'd fit that more properly in over here. A little bit tricky to do for you much easier when you're just doing it on paper and not on online okay and then we've obviously got the months down the bottom you could put a label saying months down the bottom but that would probably be a bit of overkill for this particular graph and also another key feature we've got our title at the top that tells us what the graph is all about